I'm Chris with Tactical Aviation. Stress and fatigue go hand in hand. Stress is the body's response to physical and physiological demands placed upon it. The body's reaction to stress includes releasing chemical hormones such as adrenaline into the blood and increasing metabolism to provide more energy to the muscles. Blood sugar, heart rate, respiration, blood pressure, and perspiration all increase. The term stressor is used to describe an element that causes an individual to experience stress. Examples of stressors include physical stress, like noise or vibration, physiological stress, fatigue, and psychological stress, difficult work or personal situations. Stress falls into two broad categories, acute, which is short-term, and chronic, which is long-term. Acute stress involves an immediate threat that is perceived as a danger. This is the type of stress that triggers a fight or flight response in an individual, whether the threat is real or imagined. Normally, a healthy person can cope with acute stress and prevent stress overload. However, ongoing acute stress can develop into chronic stress. Chronic stress can be defined as a level of stress that presents an intolerable burden, exceeds the ability of an individual to cope, and causes individual performance to fall sharply. Unrelenting psychological pressures such as loneliness, financial worries, and relationship or work problems can produce a cumulative level of stress that exceeds a person's ability to cope with the situation. When stress reaches these levels, performance falls off rapidly. Pilots experiencing this level of stress are not safe and should not exercise their airman privileges. Pilots who suspect they are suffering from chronic stress should consult a physician. Fatigue is frequently associated with pilot error. Some of the effects of fatigue include degradation of attention and concentration, impaired coordination, and decreased ability to communicate. These factors seriously influence the ability to make effective decisions. Physical fatigue results from sleep loss, exercise, or physical work. Factors such as stress and prolonged performance of cognitive work result in mental fatigue. Like stress, fatigue falls into two broad categories, acute and chronic. Acute fatigue is short-term and is a normal occurrence in everyday living. It is the kind of tiredness people feel after a period of strenuous effort, excitement, or lack of sleep. Acute fatigue can be prevented by proper diet and adequate rest and sleep. A well-balanced diet prevents the body from needing to consume its own tissue as an energy source. Adequate rest maintains the body's store of vital energy. Chronic fatigue, extending over a long period of time, usually has psychological roots although an underlying disease is sometimes responsible. Continuous high stress levels produce chronic fatigue. Chronic fatigue is not relieved by proper diet and adequate rest and sleep and usually requires treatment by a physician. An individual may experience this condition in form of weakness, tiredness, palpitations of the heart, breathlessness, headaches, or irritability. Sometimes chronic fatigue even creates stomach or intestinal problems and generalized aches and pains throughout the body. When the conditions become serious enough, it leads to emotional illness. If fatigue occurs during the operation of the small unmanned aircraft, no amount of training or experience can overcome the detrimental effects. Getting adequate rest is the only way to prevent fatigue from occurring. Avoid flying a small unmanned aircraft without a full night's rest, after working excessive hours, or after an especially exhausting or stressful day. Remote pilots who suspect they are suffering from chronic fatigue should consult a physician. Let's take a look at a common FAA exam question. You are a remote pilot for a co-op energy service provider. You are to use your unmanned aircraft to inspect power lines in the remote area 15 hours away from your home office. After the drive, fatigue impacts your abilities to complete your assignment on time. Fatigue can be recognized A. Easily by an experienced pilot B. As being in an impaired state C by an ability to overcome sleep deprivation. B as being in an impaired state. Thank you, and I'll see you next lesson.